hello all we are here with some fallout 1 i gotta say this game is freaking amazing it came out on uh epic the whole trilogy was available for free and uh look i already got 48 hours into this game because it's so damn good but i wanted to see if there was any mods for this game and there was there's something called fallout 1 and 2 and it's basically an upgraded version of the fallout 1 restoration project i believe and what this is going to do is it's going to take a lot of those quality of life features that was added in fallout 2 and make it so that you can use them in fallout 1 such as being able to take all when you're looking in containers and highlighting interactable uh objects that are on the field so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the site to get Fallout 1 and 2, and I'm going to show you how to install it. All right, so Google Fallout 1 and 2, and then you'll see this GitHub link. If you can't find it, I'm just going to place the link in the description so it's easier for you to find anyway. But after you open up this site, you want to scroll down and you want to click right here, download the latest version. Once you download the file, open up the zip right here and then come back over like this. Go to where your game's directory is, right here, Fallout 2, English version, and then you just grab this Fallout 1 and 2 folder, and then just drag it in. Once it is dragged in, you want to go into the Fallout 1 and 2 folder, and then you want to click this application right here, the Undat, and then right here on this top line, this box right next to it, you just want to click this and then you want to navigate to where your Fallout 1 is. So mine is in, you know, Steam Maps Common, Fallout 1 English, and then you can go to the master.dat. Double click on this one and then hit extract. Once everything is extracted, just close the window. Now still in our Fallout 1 and 2 folder. You want to right click on the Fallout 2 executable and then you can create a shortcut, right? Create a shortcut and then rename it uh, Fallout 1 and 2. I had already did that and I had even put it right here in my start tab right there. And once you do that, that's it. You're good to go. You can start this up. I'll try to show you right now. All right, so let me show you some of the cool features about this thing really quickly. So I got uh, the three human companions with me. I left dog meat back because he just don't got guns. I feel like he has a hard time in this game. But as you can see, I got power armor. And who is that? Katja. I believe Katja has power armor as well since, since she is the weakest of the crew. Now, you can actually talk to these characters. And you can go to something like this. Combat control. And then you could tell them to do things like use their best weapon, use their best armor. And as you can see, she will wear power armor. And um, you could go to custom to set, you know, when they will use stem packs, um, you know, their distance, you know, stay close to me, things like that. You could choose all these different things. And um, let me see what else I could show you. Oh, so like sometimes when you get stuck in the doorway, uh, like NPCs will like block the doorway. You can actually click on them and then hit this icon right there and it will move them. See, they will like move out the way. So that's good for if they block the doorway. Let me show you something else. So another thing. Is that you no longer have to click on the doors to open them if they're already unlocked so uh like you saw me just do right here let me interact with this really quickly if i could do it all right so doors close i choose to run in here and the door just opens automatically so that's really nice um hopefully uh, this guy doesn't get mad when I look in this container. But when you check in the containers, you now have the take all button from Fallout 2. So you could take all items that's in the container. So that's another really good feature. Uh, I'm trying to think of something else. Oh, you can also tell dog meat to stay. 
if you don't want him in your party anymore, you can actually dismiss him now. So that's really good. And there's some other features as well. Like you can add some of the cut content enemies. You could add some enemies from Fallout 2. And there's also some locations from Fallout 2 as well. Like I did the, the temple that's at the beginning of Fallout 2. Uh, I found it um, in Fallout 1 as a random encounter. And you was actually able to play through the whole thing. As well as pick up some of the items in there like healing powder and things like that. So um, I know there's a few other features in here as well. Like you could use a motorcycle. And I figured, figured out where, the, where it was located. And as well as the keys. But I just couldn't get it to start regardless of the size of my party. So there's a, there's a bunch of things that's going on here. Also I destroyed both the cathedral and the military base. And I'm still able to play the game. So um. The game no longer just shuts you out once you complete it. You can actually run around and continue to level up and do side quests once the game is complete. So that's, that's pretty much all the features that I figured out with it so far. So I hope this video helps you out. Go and play this game. It's old as hell, but it is so fun. Like I said, I already have over 48 plus hours in this game. I just literally got the game like not long ago and I already beat it like three times because it's just that damn fun. All right. So. Leave a like on this video to help other people find it and also to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time.